In this video from Joomla Shack, I'm going to take you through Shack Locations. Shack Locations is the mapping solution for Joomla, and wait till you see what it can do. I'm here at joomlashack.com, looking at the Shack Locations page. You can see all of the main functions for Shack Locations. Down here at the bottom, you can see what's available in the free version, and of course, what's available in the pro version. I'm on a plain, vanilla, brand new Joomla website. It's simple to install, just like any other extension. Once it's installed, head over to Components and Shack Locations. When you launch Shack Locations for the first time, a really helpful wizard will guide you in setting up your first map. Over here on the left, you see Maps, Legends, Location Types, and then Locations. This is essentially the workflow you'll go through you'll define the map that you're working on. You'll add a legend. This is like categories, say museums and attractions. You'll then add location types inside each of those categories, such as sports complexes or government buildings. And then finally, you'll add locations. Well, let's click on the options. The first thing you have to do is you do need a Google API key for Google Maps. There's a link right here to go ahead and get that. It's very simple to set up. Just click on that link. You'll log in with your Google account and follow the instructions. Once you have your API key, you'll just come back and paste it in here. There are other options here. We'll take a look at those in a few moments. Click Save and Close, and you're ready to get started. The wizard is telling us to click New, so click New. And let's start off with a map of New York City. You can, of course, add a description if you want. But over here on the right, you'll notice there's an Open Geocoder tool. This is awesome. Click on that. And then just type in New York City. And click Geocode this. And it's going to take us straight to New York City. Click Save Latitude Longitude. And Shack Locations inserts that for us. That's all you need to do. Click Save and Close. I'm going to add one more. Click New. And I'm going to get a map for Washington, D.C. Once again, the tool to get our geocode and just type in Washington, D.C. It doesn't get much simpler than this. I'll zoom out just a little bit and then save that latitude and longitude and click Save and Close. Perfect. Now we have two maps that we can set up. You can create unlimited numbers of maps with Shack locations. Now, clicking on legends then, the wizard is going to tell me I need at least one legend. Well, let's set one up. And let's call this government buildings. Click save and close. Now, the thing with legends is I can have government buildings in both New York and Washington, D.C. They're simply categories for the places that I'm going to enter. Let's add another one, simple as Clicking New and typing in our new legend. We have now two legends. Now let's click on Location Types. And our wizard is going to remind us that we can add any kind of location types. So once again, this is kind of like a subcategory. For instance, on the screen here, Recreation, and then you've got all kinds of places that you can do for recreation or sporting venues and things like that. Adding a unique location type is as simple as clicking New and then giving it a name. Let's go with museums. There's lots of museums in both of those cities. Display in the legend, well, we'll put those under attraction. We can upload a custom marker here or let Shack Locations use a default one. And we can also add some custom fields. We'll talk about that in another video. I'm going to click Save and New this time. And I'm going to add parks. Once again, there's no limit to how many legends or location types you can add. I'm going to put that under Attraction as well and click Save and Close. So now we have museums and parks, and we can add as many as we want. The final step then is to add some locations into the legend and location types that we've defined. Well, it's really simple. Again, click New. We're going to add one for MoMA, the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. You'll notice the parent map is selected for us. And the primary location type is museums. Of course, we can update that as we need. 
These are some fields that we can add information to. We'll talk about that in another video. Then I'm going to open the geolocator tool and put in Museum of Modern Art, New York. And Google Maps takes me directly to where I need to be. Once again, I can zoom out if I want just to see where that might be, double check everything, and we're good to go. Save latitude, longitude. And again, I can add a description here. I can upload a location image and also an alternative marker as well for this particular location. It gives me maximum flexibility as I'm creating my maps. Well, let's click Save and New. And let's add the Statue of Liberty. Once again, it's in New York City, but it's not a museum. It's more like a park. Click Geocoder tool and put in Statue of Liberty. Google Maps finds it for me. Save latitude, longitude, and I'm good to go. Close, save and close. So we have two maps, New York and DC. We have two items in our legends. Again, these are categories that can span maps. Location types, again, can span maps. And finally, locations that are specific to the maps and the locations and legends that we've defined. The last step then is to add a menu item. I'm going to click on Menus, Main Menu, and add a new menu item. Now again, you could put this in any menu that you want, but we'll call this Shack Location New York. And click on Select, and you'll see Shack Locations Pro is in the menu type listing. And we'll click on Single Map. Now the only other thing we need to do here is click on Required Settings to choose the map that we want to select. New York is showing up first because alphabetically it appears before Washington, D.C., but that's all we need to do. Save and close. And let's go check out our New York City map. And there we have our attraction legend with our two location types showing two locations. Now with Shack Locations Pro, you have some additional functionality like finding my location, etc. Now to change the zoom, level of this map. It's as simple as going back to the extension, clicking on options, and updating some of the options that we have. A zoom level of 1, of course, is very far out. You might want to start with something like 14. You can update it from a roadmap to a satellite to a hybrid to a terrain map. Depending on your template, you might want to load Bootstrap or not. It's turned off by default. You can disable zoom controls. You can disable mouse wheel zooming. Is the map draggable? Well, again, you can see all of the options you have here, and that's really terrific. You can choose to show info box. If you fill in those fields, it's a good idea. You can enable map search. You can set up a default marker and default state for that marker, and of course, manage the map permissions. So Shack Locations is an exceptional way to build really fantastic looking maps for your Joomla website.